this is John Becker with Scopus, makers of the Orion Scoring System and Athena Electronic Scoring Target. Today we're going to go over another in the basic series on transferring your Orion license from an old computer to a new computer. Um, there's a couple of scenarios where this may occur. Um, you may uh, have new equipment over the summer. Your school may have uh, wanted to swap out something. Hopefully it's not a case where your old computer died, uh, but for whatever reason, the process would be the same. You can transfer your license and uh, recover your software from the cloud backup uh, from one PC to another. So the steps are the same, so let's start talking about them. First, we would ask, um, obviously it's acceptable that you transfer your license, but we would ask that you notify us in writing, uh, an email is fine, but that you're moving the software as part of your uh, end-user software uh, license. Next, you want to make sure you're on the latest version. Currently, it's 2.2. 2.1.2.3, but basically you just want to ensure that you're on a recent version, uh, the latest production version on both the old computer and the new computer, but mainly you know, your old computer so you can make sure that your cloud backup is enabled. So let's review how you would do that by looking at the software. So when you first open Orion, the welcome screen will show down in the right corner of the welcome screen if your software is up to date. Let's say, and if there's an update needed, it'll prompt you to download the update. Another way to check is in tools, I'm sorry, in help, check for updates. Uh, it will tell you if there's an update available. In this case, you have the most updated version of Orion. So that's fine. What we want to make sure is that our athlete database and match directories are being backed up to the cloud. So you can come up and check in two ways. So under tools, you can check your backup status. You want to make sure there are no files waiting to be backed up and that it's running. And then the other area is your database properties. Under permissions, you want to make sure that your database cloud backup is enabled. And that's going to allow you to recover much easier. So this is still on the old um, the old PC you're transferring from. So let's say you needed to update the software and you wanted to make sure that the backup was enabled. I would give it just a couple of minutes and then go back into cloud backup tools, cloud backup status, and make sure, like in my case, I've got two files waiting to be backed up. I wanna make sure this shows up as I have zero files waiting to be backed up before we move on to the next step. So back in our steps, the next one would be um, on your new computer, you want to download the latest version, download and install it just like any other Windows-based program, follow the prompts and make sure it gets installed. And then we're going to um, install or transfer over the license, which we'll handle in just a second on this next. Okay, we've successfully installed the software on the new PC, but we have not uh, brought over a license. So when you first start up Orion, you're gonna be presented with these three options. Uh, the top one is the new purchase needs step-by-step -step instructions. The middle one is I'm familiar with Orion, I need to install my license, which is our scenario for this video. 
or I am unfamiliar with Orion taken over from a previous coach. Each of those will set, will uh, guide you through some step-by-step -step instructions, but for our purposes, we just need to install the license. So I'm going to click that set. So after clicking that, you're presented with a blank license screen with two options, a text box up top where you can paste your license, which we'll review in just a minute, or an option to uh, enter a download code. So where those come in is there's two methods to get your license. Uh, one that we recommend is just logging into your My Account page We'll review that in just a second and copying the text box from the uh, uh, license rectangle uh, over into this new on the software. Or option two is you contact support and request a download code. So back to the software. Oh, well, let's go to the website. So going to your My Account page, you'll see that. Once you log in, you're, you can copy the license to the clipboard right here. It'll say your license has been copied to your clipboard. And then you want to re return to your software. And you have the option of pasting from the clipboard. And then once you paste it and click Save, Orion will restart. Uh, that's true of either method, either pasting the, the data up top or entering a download code. But once you do that, it's going to restart. Because now it's going to incorporate the license. So next on the new PC, you're going to want to go to Tools, Install Scanner Drivers. So select whichever model scanner of the Canon scanners you're using. And you'll see a green download bar that runs in the background. And then you're presented with a Windows install, just like any other Windows program or Windows update. We'll let that run. This is Canon's drivers being installed. And once that's done, that's complete. And there are two steps left. So we want to bring in our athlete database. So you go to database. Restore database from backup. You can just select the most recent one, or if you have a particular one, if you've done some work on it, but usually the most recent one is the best to bring in. Click Restore. It's going to have to restart again to incorporate that athlete database. Once it pops back up, the normal welcome screen comes up, but then your athlete database is restored. The last item you may want to do um, is bring in a recent match if you want to restore that from um, the match directory from backup. So under Tools, Restore Match Directory, if you have a particular file you're looking for or the most recent one you worked on, you can click Restore depending on the size of it, obviously it's going to take take longer, shorter, longer. Um, but once that's brought in, you can, it'll ask you if you want to open that match. So at this point, you've installed and installed the software on a new PC, transferred your license, and you are good to go moving forward.
So we talked about you know, once the license is downloaded, installing the drivers, and then restoring these databases from your backup. So as a reminder, if you need support uh, for any additional questions, we have our support website, various YouTube videos, and of course, you can uh, always reach out to us during office hours by visiting our website, shooting us an email at support at shooterstech.net or calling the office. Thank you.